Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of M Crater Lore. So today what we're going to be working on is getting the uh, different uh, blocks up for stairs, slabs, and walls, and uh, for the base marble one we're going to do buttons and uh, pressure plates as well. So we'll be doing all that today. We're going to fix a couple things in the workspace. And then we're going to also do some texturing towards the end. So um, first thing that I needed to do was test for the properties for the stairs and other blocks and mainly the stone ones because I wanted to know how hard the stone actually is. So once I got the material or the hardness and resistance, I was able to put it into the... Um, actual system so for the hardness and resistant values I also disabled the uh, block for it to drop so it's not going to drop any other um, model or anything like that and then I just went through the properties and just made sure that everything was set to default so it was ready to um, actually go ahead and get the for the ready for the next part and then I needed to go ahead and set up the uh, slab version. So I needed to look up the slab version and it turns out it's the exact same values as the stairs. So that was good to know, but I just needed to confirm that from the actual wiki page. So I went ahead and made sure the properties were all the same. And uh, then I needed to create the wall for the marble. And basically what this will allow us to do is have a marble wall variant which will um, be good, but I had to look up the value again. And it turns out it's still the same, so it's uh, 1.5 for the artist or resistance or whatever. And then I needed to make sure that everything was the same and save it, and then we could start working on the pressure plate. And I think this was... I don't know if I looked it up actually on this one. I might have. I can't remember if I have or not. Um, let's see here, pressure plate, and I think it's, yeah, it's a little bit different, I think, so I needed to change the value a little bit and make sure that that was the same as the default values, and then I just basically made sure that everything was set the same as the block uh, previous to it. And then I needed the button version, so we would have a button, marble button version for this. Uh, we will make a crafting table for making these particular blocks in the near future. Uh, but at the moment I needed to get them into the actual workspace so we have something to work with. But um, it, it will take a little bit of time to get the workspace running. I know a lot of you want something like a stone cutting mechanic, so we might try to tackle that in this series, but I'm not sure how it's going to turn out or if it's going to work at all. So I'll need to test it before actually implementing it. So that's kind of the part that's going to take a little bit longer to do. But um, a lot of these recipes and stuff I want to move over to uh, custom crafting systems and uh, have recipe helpers and stuff like that that will make it a little bit easier to manage and stuff so um, for things like blocks maybe a sawmill or a um, stone cutting machine could actually be a little bit easier for making these kinds of blocks and stuff like that uh, we might be able to implement that somehow but again this is all just kind of um, it will take time to actually figure out and stuff so I got all these different uh, things done so we can move on to getting the um, I think it was the I tackled the mossy cobble one next or cobblestone I got the cobblestone done and then we're on mossy cobblestone now so we're going with mossy cobblestone stairs I think yeah, stairs, and then we need the set up the name and all the other properties and stuff like that. Th this took a little bit of time to actually implement, um, to actually get it all set up and stuff. Uh, it did take a little bit of time to um, not so much make the textures and stuff like that. Like the textures we got done last episode pretty quickly, but um, you know, making the 
uh, blocks and stuff. It, it, there's a lot of components and stuff like that that need to be brought in, and it does look good. I will say that uh, we tested it later on in game, and it looked really good for what it what we came up with for the stairs and stuff. So, um, yeah, basically that's basically what I'm doing. I'm just getting the polished versions in now, and then we can get the um, go to the next step, which I think I fixed the workspace a little bit. I'm not entirely sure what I did next, but we're just, we'll finish this up quickly and then we can test that out in game later on. But um, yeah, so basically we got the slab and then we just need the wall, which might be a little bit different from the marble version. I'm not entirely sure if it's gonna make too much of a difference, but we'll add it anyways. And then we can go ahead with uh, sorting these so they're all in the proper order in the block workspace or block tab. So I'm just adding them to the order where we put the marble blocks. And then we can move on to the next thing. So just making sure everything works. All right, so the next thing I needed to do was remove the old structure uh, when we were testing. It's been something I keep forgetting about, so I needed to quickly remove that. I was just going to delete the folders that they were sided in, and I went to the source and just made sure that the um, structure generation was deleted for them. We don't actually have any other structures in here that we need to worry about, so it's nothing that we can, can't can just quickly delete for these parts, so the processor list as well. And that leaves all the things that we have in for features and stuff. So I'm going to leave all those other ones. And then we can move on to um, just making sure everything else is set up. And it looks like it's set up. So we could go ahead and just double check uh, some things. So I wanted to go ahead with... Um, I noticed that there was another folder uh, for flowers that uh, this particular flower, the magenta one or the purple one, that was in the uh, wrong namespace. So I'm going to fix that up really quickly. I'm glad I looked into the uh, source thing to check the tags and stuff. So we'll just set that up quickly. And I'm going to just paste that in so I can have a quick copy of that. And then we can go ahead and set up the... Uh, registry so it's the same still so any mechanics don't break and then we'll go ahead and uh, delete that replace it and I'll just replace this and we'll grab the registry there make sure it's under our mod namespace um, that way we, we can select mod and make sure that it's um, basically set up the uh, same way uh, basically if you use mod it will always use your namespace even if you update your namespace so it's a lot better than typing the namespace by ma manually and stuff like that I didn't know about that a long time ago but um, more recently I found that out so the next thing that I wanted to work on was just making the mossy texture a little bit more uh, better uh, something not as sharp as before so I said we were going to do that today and I wanted to quickly do that and just kind of mix in the textures that we did have. I'm using transparency textures so we can kind of overlay this a little bit into our actual model or texture itself and I'm just mixing in some darker shades at the moment just so it uh, blends in a little bit nicer. And um, yeah, and then I would I kind of blended in a lighter hue uh, with even more sat or transparency around the actual sides and stuff like that, just so it's a little bit more um, faded, uh, blends a little bit nicer with the actual cobblestone. Um, it still will be a little bit sharp on the edges, I think, for when you're mixing it with other cobblestone, marble cobblestone, but um, I think it will look fine for the most part, way better than what it used to, I think. So we'll go ahead and put the cobblestone in just to see what it looks like, and it looks pretty good. Now let's just quickly grab this one, and we'll see the difference. So you can kind of see that it was pretty sharp, so I am pretty happy with the changes that we made. We'll just delete that old texture and import the new one, and we should all be set up. We'll just reboot mCrater, 
and then we can double check to make sure that all the workspace and stuff is all loaded so testing a game everything seems to be loaded just fine um, I'm gonna grab the blocks that we got from the today's uh, project and we'll just do a quick test to see how everything works so we got the marbles and then we got the fences okay the fences don't actually seem to link up properly so we'll have to go and make sure that they're added to a tag uh, there is a tag where um, Minecraft uses to make sure that they link and stuff and then we have the pressure plate and buttons so the buttons can actually be used for like rocks and stuff for rock decorations and other things like that so that will look really good and then we got the cobblestone one and we'll place that down over here so all the different variants and yeah all the fen all the wall versions are going to need a little bit of work to um, set up so they're a little bit more dy dynamic uh, or link up so the cobblestone texture when it's mixed in looks actually really good I'm pretty happy with um, how the the texture turned out for that I'm not going to need to really test anything further I think I think it works the way that it is it looks good and it's not vibrant it's, it doesn't have too much high contrast so it's it's just right I think now so and then we got the polished version which is these ones right here uh, the only thing that we really need left to do is implement the uh, mechanics for marble to generate uh, we'll probably do that next episode with some other things but um, outside of that there was just uh, some things that I wanted to do and I was just quickly fix up the wall texture uh, or wall uh, mechanics so I needed to make sure that they were added to this particular tag um, it should be listed in your uh, in the tag generator uh, settings but um, if not then you can just copy over the settings it should be under the minecraft namespace and replacing these blocks will automatically make it update to the proper one so we can replace all of them like so and we can see the different textures and stuff like that so yeah the, the, the um, that particular one the polish looks okay um, the lines kinda don't really line up on the top but that's just the way that Mojang's kind of UV, UV mapped the uh, wall itself it still looks good I think so it will work um, as far as this, uh, we could do some interesting uh, build designs now using marble, um, not just for um, what we got for the stairs and stuff like that, but we got a whole bunch of different varieties of marble to work with. So uh, this is just one stone type that I wanted to add in. I still want to add in basalt and shale, uh, which actually where I live uh, in BC, there's actually a lot of shale around here and it's um, an interesting rock it's very uh, brittle and we might be able to mimic some of the mechanics and stuff like that and make it look a little bit nicer and add it to our biome so i wanted to kind of implement some of these kinds of features later on basalt's very uh, volcanic uh, so and dark but will be that's kind of probably the next thing that i want to work on is getting some textures and stuff like that and maybe the main blocks set up for basalt and then we'll have the generation tomorrow as well we'll set up the generation for the um, marble and so it will generate naturally in the biome but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out